Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. In this video I want to focus on a Photoshop tool which will help you with those final color grading touches. Before that however I will show the whole post processing for this image. So if you're just here for that one special tool I would suggest to check the chapters of the video. Also if you want to follow along you can find the link to download the raw file in the description of the video. And now let's begin. So as I said we first need to do some raw adjustments that will be real quick. First off let me just switch the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape. This will bring up the base saturation and for this image I do want to have a very vibrant post sunset look. So that's really helpful already. Now let's expand the basic panel. The next step what we could do for some more intense sunset colors is to just play around with the white palettes. Right now you can see the overall image is more on the colder side. So I'm just bringing up the temperature introducing some more yellowish warm color tones. Just like that. We can further improve this effect by playing around with the tint. And I'm just bringing up the tint introducing some more magenta tones. And that looks already much much better. At this point looking at this program you can see that's pretty well exposed already. Still I think the overall image looks a tad bit too dark. So I'm going to go on and bring up the exposure slightly. Looking good so far. However of course we will start to lose a bit of details in those bright areas in the sky. To counter that simply bring down the highlights until we get something that looks more natural. Just like that. Awesome. Finally I'd like to raise the blacks just a little bit and then add a bit of texture. And for an overall softer look I'm going to drop the clarity. Perfect. Now all that's left to do in the basic tab is to just bring up the vibrance. Let's raise it quite a bit and I'm also going to add some saturation to really get some strong color tones in here. Perfect. Now that's the image after just a few base adjustments. You can see the colors do look much more intense. Also the whole image is a little bit brighter especially in those shadows. Next up I do want to apply some masking. So let's open up the masking panel and I'm starting with a linear gradient for the very near foreground just like that. In here I'm going to drop down the whites and the reason for me to do that is to make the area darker without risking any underexposure which would be the case if I would just bring down the exposure for example. Very subtle change but I think this looks great. Next up let's try the new select objects mask with which I just want to select that boardwalk right there in the center. Just brushing over the object I want to select. I can do that pretty roughly I guess. Just like that. Looks like a good selection to me. With this I'm going to slightly raise the exposure. I'm also going to increase the temperature because right now you can see the board rock has a very strong blue color tone which makes it look very unnatural. So let's bring up the temperature and kind of fix the color cast. Also I'd like to introduce some more texture on the board rock as well as some clarity. But that looks perfect. And that's already it for the masking stuff. Now let's do some color grading. First off in the color mixer I'm starting with the hue. In this case I'd like to bring up the blue hue which will give us some more purple color tones in the sky. I'm not going to raise it too much otherwise this would look kind of strange. Also I'm going to bring up the purple tones just like that. And now let's switch over to the saturation tab. In here I'd like to bring up the orange saturation and the yellow saturation and maybe even the magenta saturation. Okay then let's open up the color grading panel for the split toning. And as always I'm starting with the highlights and just go for a very warm color tone. So let's adjust the hue. Go somewhere in the orange range and bring up the saturation a lot. That is looking good so far. Let's head over into the midtones. 
Here again I want to use a warm color tone somewhere in that range and again bring up the saturation quite a bit. All right, awesome. And for the shadows I'm using a cold color tone with a very very low amount of saturation. Just want to have a subtle hint of blue tones in those shadows just like that. And finally let's head down into the calibration tab. Here I'm bringing down the blue primary hue and I'm raising the saturation some more. All right, now the image is looking pretty awesome already after just a few raw adjustments. As you can see, one more thing that's left to do is the sharpening in the details tab. So let's do that real quick. Bring down the radius, increase the details, add a bit of masking and then increase the amount of sharpening just like that. And with that, we are done with the raw adjustments. So now let's head over into Photoshop by opening up this object. The first step for me in Photoshop is to simply get rid of the vignetting in the upper corners. So here I'm using the clone stamp tool. By holding down Alt key, I'm copying an area from right next to it. And then I'm just brushing over those ugly corners. Let's do the same on the other side. Just like that. And the vignetting is gone. Now let me show you that special tool which make your colors look way better. For that you want to open up the adjustment layers menu and here we are going to choose color balance. As the name suggests with this adjustment layer you can tweak the balance of the different color tones going from the shadows to the midtones to the highlights which is really really helpful and in some kind of way feels like doing the split toning in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and under the tones drop down menu choose highlights. Just like with the split toning in the camera raw editor I do want to just make the highlights a little warmer. With the highlight selected I'm shifting the color balance between cyan and red more towards the red side. And the result will be a warmer image. Just like you can see right now as I'm pushing this slider. Let's go with something like this. Now we could do the same with the balance between magenta and green, bringing down this slider to add some more magenta tones. I however think this looks a little bit too cotton candy like. So let's undo this change. Instead I want to change the balance between yellow and blue. And bringing down this slider will give us some more yellowish color tones in those highlights. And thus it just looks a little more like a natural sunset. Then let's change the tones from highlights to midtones. In here again I do want to work on the balance between cyan and red. Just bringing up the slider a notch, introducing some more red tones to the midtones of the image. And finally to create color contrast let's head into the shadows and here work on the balance between yellow and blue. To create color contrast I'm going to introduce some colder color tones to the shadows by simply bringing up this slider. And just like that with only a few adjustments we have created a very awesome color theme for this sunset image. You can see this when I'm turning off this layer. Now of course this is not a perfect result. Especially right here on the boardwalk you can see the colors do look a little bit strange. So I want to make use of that layer mask and just mask out the object. I want to try and do that with the object selection so I'm going to select our image layer, go to select and here I'm choosing subject. As you can see Photoshop is doing a great job at selecting the subject. With that selection I'm going back to the layer mask hit shift F5 and since we want to mask it out I'm going to choose black and hit OK. And now we got back our more natural colors from before without losing those intense sunset colors in the sky. And that is the whole editing process from start to finish with that color balance adjustment layer tool I wanted to show you. If you have any questions left about editing feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.